Hi there, I'm Sean Carroll, your host for this month's Friday Night Spotlight on Science in the Movies. Our previous film, Silkwood, took a sober, fact-based look at the effects of radiation on blue-collar workers at a plutonium pellet fabrication site in Oklahoma. Our next film looks at the flip side of nuclear power, nuclear weaponry. It's an important movie from MGM in 1947 called The Beginning or the End. This docudrama is about the development and deployment of the atomic bomb. It marked the first time that a major Hollywood studio had made a movie about nuclear weapons. It opens with a fake newsreel featuring all the principals in the Redwood National Forest, placing a copy of the actual film, the beginning or the end, into a time capsule, set to be opened in 500 years. The film is intended to serve as an ominous message for the people in 2446, just in case the atomic age turned out to be humanity's undoing. The story then goes into the step-by-step -step history of how science and big business were mobilized by America to achieve the atomic bomb during World War II. The script carefully instructs on what the scientists were trying to accomplish, the nuclear reaction they were trying to create, on how the bomb will work, the dangers of radiation, and the genuine fear of the unknown before the first test at Los Alamos. It's a basic crash course in nuclear physics, just don't try any of it at home. So here it is, boasting a stable of familiar faces, inc including Brian Donlevy, Robert Walker, and Tom Drake. MGM's The Beginning or the End. One thing this film had that very few studios other than MGM could supply was a large cast of name actors. Headlining was Brian Donlevy, but you also had Hume Cronin, Robert Walker, Tom Drake, Audrey Totter, Barry Sullivan, and Joseph Kalia. The film also had Godfrey Turrell giving one of the uncanniest impersonations of President Franklin D. Roosevelt ever filmed. And in a tiny role as a nuclear scientist is Norman Lloyd, who was an actor, producer, director, and a brilliant raconteur. In recent years, Norman has attended several of the TCM Classic Film Festivals and even one of the TCM Classic Cruises, telling tales from his decades working in Hollywood. Coming up next on Turner Classic Movies, it's a high point among the first wave of the British post-war science fiction films. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, radioactive children are on the loose and these are the damned. Then Lauren Bacall looks to replace her family in the cobweb and Mel Brooks hopes to furnish his finances with a fortune hidden among the 12 chairs.